Hello all, my name is Prabhakar. I am making series of videos available to you to learn Amazon Web Services. And in this session, we are going to talk about AWS Application Load Balancer. Uh, this is a, a follow-up session for my previous session. And in this session, we are going to talk about Application Load Balancer. And uh, so uh, we will check on the lab. So how to create a two uh, EC2 instances and um, install Apache uh, with uh, two instances as a deposit and withdrawal static pages and create a target groups and create application load balancer and map the target groups and create a rules to forward the HTTP request. And this request could be uh, the path based or port based. And uh, in this example, uh, I'm taking this example in, a, uh, in order to uh, create application load balancer. I'm taking an example of a banking application. In this bank, uh, there are two uh, operations I'm performing. One is a deposit and second one is a withdrawal. And uh, so here, uh, the both are uh, microservices. And uh, in this microservices based uh, load balancer, so uh, I'm creating, I'm going to creating uh, two EC2 instance. Uh, one is for the deposit, one is for the withdrawal. And when I access uh, URL uh, with a deposit, and it is going to be uh, redirected to uh, the deposit EC2 instance. And if I'm uh, going to uh, call the withdrawal uh, URL, so it is going to be forward my request to uh, withdrawal EC2 instance. And uh, there are a set of uh, listeners are, um, created in between and whenever I place a request uh, via application load balancer and uh, these listeners uh, will check that okay and uh, and uh, my path and then port and based on the path and port so my uh, application load balancer will uh, forward the request to the respective instance and that instance could be a deposit instance or the withdrawal instance. Uh, let's go to the lab and check that okay how to create application load balancer and um, check that so as I described in my previous example so here uh, I'm going to create the two instances one is for the uh, deposit is two instance second one is for the withdrawal instance so now uh, so if I go to uh, my AWS management console and uh, here go to services and EC2 And I'm launching a new EC2 instance here. And uh, here uh, for launching that instance, so I can select any one of the instance. So here I'm selecting the Ubuntu and with the basic configuration, uh, which is eligible for uh, uh, free tire uh, eligibility, go to the next. And inside this configuration, uh, so uh, here I'm going to do the application load balancer. So for that, I have to install the application in my two EC2 instance. So here I'm installing Apache, Apache application with a static page. There are two pages. One is for the deposit.html. Uh, second one is for um, uh, withdrawal.html. So for doing that, uh, so I have to install Apache and I have to install all record packages on that. So in order to access my, uh, uh, that static page. So uh, this is a, some kind of time consuming activity. So for avoiding that, so AWS have uh, one beautiful feature that is a user data feature. So here I can run the set of, uh, set of uh, scripts. So in order to uh, set up my mission and in order to install all the uh, packages on that. So for doing that, so I already prepared uh, some of the following steps. There are six steps are there. In the first step, uh, it will define that, okay, which kind of shell I'm using. And the second step, so which will update uh, my package manager inside Ubuntu. And uh, third step, so which will install uh, Apache and uh, Ubuntu mission. So this minus Y, uh, which is uh, provided because of, so if it is prompted uh, to enter Y or no, yes or no. So for that, if I'm passing minus Y, it will not stop and it will not uh, terminate the process. So it will continue installing all the um, required packages by providing the yes as a parameter. And I'm making uh, one of the uh, directory inside my Apache via www HTML and deposit. So under that, I'm writing the keyword called the hello, uh, here is a deposit, a deposit page. And I'm restarting the uh, Apache. So just copy uh, all these steps and uh, now uh, put it on this. Here is in uh, user data and go to next as storage and next. And here I'm adding a tags. So the tag is, uh, I'm putting it as a um, name. And here I'm making it as a deposit mission. 
go to security groups and I'm choosing the existing security group which I have already created and which is open for port 80 and port 22 and go review and launch launch the instance and uh, so this is not required so I'm choosing it as uh, proceed without a key pair launch the instance And here, uh, whatever the IP and then DNS I'm using, this is a static DNS and st uh, it is a dynamic DNS and um, dynamic IP. So that if you uh, reboot the instance or if you restart the instance, so this IP may get changed. So uh, let me check that what is the status of that. Okay, now my instance is up and running. So if I go here on the public DNS, copy the DNS entry and go here and paste it here. So it is initializing that it will take a couple of seconds in order to install all the required packages. Just wait for that. So after waiting a couple of seconds, so you can find uh, the my Apache is up and running. So as uh, described in this uh, uh, folder directory, okay, so I have created a folder called deposit under that I kept uh, index.html. If I go to deposit, deposit so it will open the page is uh, here is a deposit a deposit page similarly so i have to create another ec2 instance which will support uh, uh, withdrawal so for doing that okay i can i need to follow the same steps but instead of doing that there is a feature in aws uh, which will make a similar launch the more like this so you can click on this it will select all the options by default and uh, only one thing you have to do is go to the configure instance and earlier, so I have created uh, the folder and the file called a deposit. So instead of doing a deposit, so you can say uh, withdrawal, withdraw. And uh, here you can put the text as uh, withdraw. And uh, here is again the withdraw. Okay, so now go to next. And instead of tags, okay, you can change the tag name is the withdraw. Okay, so now uh, review and launch the instance, launch the instance, and I don't need, I don't require the key pair because I'm not going to uh, take SSH key here. Launch the instance. So one of the instance which is a deposit, which is already created, which is already running, here is that instance, and uh, second instance is uh, which is uh, starting, so which is a uh, withdrawal. So in this instance, so whenever I place the request uh, with the keyword called withdrawal on my URL and it will open this uh, instance. So now what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to create a load balancer here. So based on the load balancer, if I access uh, URL uh, with the keyword called uh, withdrawal, then automatically it will uh, redirect the traffic to a withdrawal EC2 instance. And if I access, uh, my uh, URL with the deposit is a keyword inside my URL, then it will automatically redirect uh, um, the traffic to uh, deposit is to instance, okay? So uh, select on this and uh, here is uh, public DNS for the withdrawal instance. Paste it here. And if it is not opening, then it will take a couple of seconds to refresh the instance and install all the dependencies. Here you can check the security um, uh, status checks here. And based on this uh, status check, so, so it will install all the uh, required packages and it will also uh, put the uh, static HTML page into your Apache directory. Okay, it will take a couple of seconds. Uh, let's go to uh, the instance and uh, yeah. So now uh, my withdrawal machine is up and running. So if I put uh, withdraw, Okay, so here this is my withdrawal page. So now uh, the both the instances are up and running and uh, those are healthy instances. Now what I can do, uh, go to uh, load balancing section. Inside this load balancing section, so you can create a target groups here. So we have to create a two uh, target groups in order to handle the two instances. So create a target group and uh, here I'm uh, dealing with the instances. And uh, so if I'm dealing with IP addresses, I can also specify the IP addresses. And if I'm dealing with the Lambda function, so I can specify the uh, Lambda function name here. And uh, 
whenever uh, some trigger, some event is happening inside my lambda, lambda function, then accordingly I can do uh, some load balancing based on <coughs> the lambda uh, event, lambda function uh, event triggering. So here I'm dealing with the EC2 instances. So that's why I selected uh, uh, a target type is uh, instances. And here I'm uh, choosing it as uh, uh, ALB and uh, target group. Okay. And uh, ALB target group, and then uh, here are the setup protocols we can define that. So by default, I'm supporting uh, for this group is uh, AT is a protocol, and the default network I'm selecting this is a VPC default network. And uh, so health checks, I'm not changing anything here. And uh, so <coughs> at uh, what kind of threshold, and then how many minutes, how many seconds we want to check the health check. So all the parameters are defined here. So if you want, you can go here and you can modify this timeout and then uh, health check interval. So these are all parameters, you can modify it. And as of now, I'm uh, leaving it as a blank and including the tags, these are the optional. And go next. And uh, so here, if you, see, if you see that, okay, I created a group and uh, this is uh, my target group. And so inside this target group, <coughs> and here, um, there are two instances are running. So which instance you want to select? So uh, for doing that, let me actually change the uh, target name here. So this is a bit confusing here. Go here and target group and create a group. So here if I select, okay, deposit target group, create next. And uh, these are the two uh, running instances. I'm selecting the instances, the deposit and including and then create a group. Now I have created a one group and similarly I can create another group. This is a, the group for uh, withdraw instance, withdraw target and uh, group, create next. <coughs> and I'm selecting here is uh, the EC2 instances uh, withdrawal and including as a pending below and uh, create a group. Okay, so now I have created a two uh, target groups here and uh, these are the two target groups and if you go to these two target groups and if you click on the targets part, so here you can see that, okay, <coughs> the instances which is unused. As of now, I haven't created any <coughs> load balancer here and um, I haven't mapped that. So that's why it is uh, showing the status as unused. Now uh, go to the load balancer. inside this load balancer, I can create the load balancer here. So as I described in my previous session, so these are the three types of load balancers are available, application load balancer, which will work at application layer, where we can uh, take the decisions uh, for uh, forwarding the request of HTTP, HTTPS, based on the path and port, and the network load balancer, so which is exactly required when you are dealing with uh, static IPs and the high performance. And the classic load balancer, which means that, okay, your application is already built in EC2 instance and you want to do some uh, load balancing on that. So for that, you can go ahead and then do the uh, classic load balancer. So here I'm uh, working on the application load balancer. Click on the application load balancer and uh, enter the uh, application load balancer name. So I'm using it as a ALB is my application load balancer. And uh, here uh, your application uh, should be in a uh, internet facing or within an internal. That is also you can define that. And if it is internet facing and what kind of IP addresses you want to uh, deal with, that is uh, IPv4 or IPv6 or dual IP. And uh, so what kind of listeners, so you want to enable it. So if some of the uh, features, some of the services, like if you are dealing with a web application, you have exposed uh, your application in port 80, but at the same time, uh, your database also needs to expose, okay? Or maybe if you are exposing your application in HTTPS, so in this case, uh, you have to uh, expose um, one more port called, uh, so if I choose the HTTP here, I can go ahead and 443 and 445 so that that ip here is ip so this is how you can you can actually uh, add additional listeners so in order to uh, recognize the port so uh, coming to the available zones okay so based on your uh, load balances which are the zones you want to uh, make it as available so uh, based on my vpc okay us east one so these are the uh, total six available zones are available so either you can select one or two or you can make it as uh, 
all the selection so that it will actually reduce the fault uh, tolerance and then it will uh, keep uh, more available uh, availability so of your application okay so go to uh, configure settings and uh, here uh, i am not configuring anything so related to https so if i have any uh, certificate ssl certificates i can config go ahead and then configure the https uh, protocol here in order to access my application over https and go to security um, uh, routing so here i am selecting uh, the default uh, security group so that uh, that is exposed with the 22 port and then 80 port and go here and configure and routing and here that so it is asking me to uh, either you create a new target group or choose existing target group so i already created uh, two target groups here one is a deposit and withdrawal so by default we have to uh, keep one thing as a default one so that uh, if uh, if uh, uh, other target group is not available or maybe is two instance is not available so by default it will uh, try to focus on the uh, the selected uh, target group so here i'm selecting as a deposit uh, it will put the more high priority here if uh, if any any of the instances are not available by default it will uh, redirect the traffic to deposit um, deposit target group so where the deposit is to instance is already configured and coming to the health checks okay these are the predefined one so for every 30 seconds of interval so it will check uh, whether the instance is uh, up and running or not if the any of the any of the instance is down then uh, aws elastic load balancing uh, it will not actually uh, forward your request to the uh, uh, the instances which are which are not available so which are the instances which are healthy then only it will uh, transfer the um, uh, transfer and forward the request to the those uh, healthy instances so now go uh, and click on the register targets so here so this is the review of the page and uh, click on the review and create in uh, create a load balancer here now i have successfully created the load balancer here so if i if i go to the load balancer here this is the load balancer balancer which i have created so one one more setting is remaining here i have created a groups and i have created a uh, load balancer here and i have mapped both accordingly so it is fine so still so how do you decide that okay so which uh, is to instance i have to trigger for which url and uh, for which instance i have to trigger for which port so for doing that uh, you can go here on the listener section and inside this listener section this is the default uh, rule which is added um, by default uh, for the uh, deposit instance you can go here on the edit rules you can add a more roles here so you can click on the plus symbol here and insert a rule and uh, different types of uh, rules we can add it so one of the rule is that the path based so if inside your url if there is any uh, substring any string is available inside url based on the string you can perform the operations or maybe inside uh, http header if something is available so based on that header value so you can go ahead and then uh, create the uh, do the operations and the http request method if it is a get method or post method so based on the method also you can uh, perform the different types of uh, operations here so here uh, i'm choosing uh, the type uh, source ip is again and the query string also so i'm going uh, with the path and inside this path so if uh, if uh, there is a string inside my url is a deposit so then uh, so inside this section i want to forward this request or redirect request or return a fixed response so i want to forward this request uh, to my deposit target group so where the deposit instance is already configured so this is how uh, one of the rule we have to add it at the same time we have to add another rule that rule uh, should support uh, withdrawal withdraw and star and whenever uh, there is a withdraw inside url so we i have to read i have to forward that request to uh, the security group of withdraw where uh, uh, withdraw instance is uh, uh, configured yes so now uh, if you see that uh, there are two ec2 instances uh, instances are configured and two applications are running one application will handle deposit uh, operations and another application will handle uh, withdrawal operations so based on the url uh, i will use only one url based on uh, uh, that is a load balancer url based on the 
load balancer url if i put the tech, uh, uh, url string as a deposit then it will automatically handle uh, and uh, forward the request to the deposit is to application and if i put uh, a url as a withdrawal then uh, so it will uh, forward the request to uh, withdrawal is to instance so this is how it will handle the application load balancer so if i go here on the load balancer section okay so <coughs> here go to the target groups earlier uh, target groups were uh, saying it as uh, it's unused so now if you see that okay it is healthy so uh, now go to the load balancer and click on the load balancer go to description here is a uh, url for my load balancer copy that load balancer application url paste it here and uh, if i'm not entering anything if i press enter by default it will redirect it to my instance uh, to a deposit and if i enter uh, any of the url called a deposit string okay so it will really uh, redirect it to uh, ec2 instance where the deposit application is uh, uh, hosted and uh, if i if i uh, enter withdrawal yeah so uh, here is a withdrawal page so uh, in one uh, load balancer so it will decide that okay uh, which uh, ec2 instance uh, the request needs to uh, forward based on the port as well as based on the uh, the url which are specified and uh, so at the same time we can also uh, extend this feature uh, with the help of ips as well as with the help of uh, instances so uh, and um, so we come to end of this session and um, thanks for watching this session so i hope uh, you enjoy the video and um, you get to know that uh, how we can uh, work uh, with the application load balancer so see you in the next session